Hi guys, welcome back. So here we have the following expression, 3x squared, oops, 3x squared, y to the fifth, minus 6, to, uh, 6 times x to the fifth, y cubed minus 12xy squared. Okay, so in order to factor this, I need to find the greatest common factor. Well, I'm going to start with the number 3, 6, and 12. I see here that the greatest common factor is just going to be 3 because 3 is the only number that I can divide every single one without getting a remainder. Now, let's do the letters. This is the trick. Do you have x in every single expression? And yes, I do. I have an x squared, an x to the fifth, and an x by itself. So take out the x with the lowest exponent. This one has a 2, a 5, and this is just x to the 1. So that's the one I'm going to take out. Now let's do the following. Take out the y with the lowest exponent. Well, look, y to the fifth, y cubed, and y squared. Beautiful y squared is the winner. Now put a huge parenthesis and start figuring out how do you get this expression by multiplying 3xy squared. So look, I have an x squared and a y to the fifth. So I'm going to need another x because 1 and 1, it gives me 2. And since I have y2, remember, I'm going to need a y3 because 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Let's continue. 3 times 2 will give me 6, so I have 1x and I have to do um, x to the 4th, y2, so I only need 1y to get to the 3, and finally um, 12, uh, let's say 3 times 4 is going to give me 12, I have an x, so I don't put anything, and y squared, so I just don't put anything, because look, when I do this the opposite way, remember factoring is the opposite of foiling. When I do 3xy squared times xy cubed and so on, I'm going to get all this expression. So that's it. You can always cheat on this type of questions. If you get your answers and if you don't know how to factor it, just go back and basically just try to foil. But you don't want to waste time. Try to do it this way. But if you get stuck, just do the other way. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning!